New Jack, what it do? What's up? What's up? Is him up? Let me make sure my phone up. All right, we turned up. All right, still waiting on it to come in. Uh, waiting for. What's going on? I'm seeing it. Okay, it's just click, clicking on. That's what I was waiting on. Sorry, guys. All right, I was waiting on something. All right, what's up? Who we got? Who we got? Cinnamon XO. Uh, Miss Duval. April D. Ashia Phillips. Kim J. Luxury Slade. Denise Spotted Horse. There she go. Uh, C. Haynes. Love Over Hate. What's up? Petty Officer. There go my boy. J. Milton. Fred Sanders. King J, uh, Reginald Owens, Dropping Jewels, uh-oh, Fabulous David, there go my auntie, auntie Fabian, Deal With It TV, Hardcore, I know he gotta be in here too, Love, I said you, Nadine Holloman, there she go, where's Linda Refino, Courtney Carter, Pal Cavalier, Michael Campbell, Q Hefner, I see him, Miss Carter, where they at? Gary Gregan, Jay Noor, Shamika Smith, Pat Watson, I'm just free balling, Charles Brown, Sir Tease, Clocko 78. What's up? What's up? Okay, guys. Uh, I'll call you guys through the episode or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to be drinking. I'm going to put my Red Bull over here. I've been working hard for you guys. I was going to take me a little break because I was feeling the exhaustion. I was gonna take a break, but I went on ahead and gave y'all this spe special ep. Uh, well, it wasn't even an episode; it was just a special. Now, I want you guys. We're gonna talk about a couple of things before we get started, because although these situations play out like this, I have a great respect for the dude Munchie. He was a smart dude. He really was a smart dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, if if Bobby Mack hadn't have been my mentor at this time, you know, he probably would have probably he probably would have got me. I don't even I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I can't even say because what if? What if? What if? But not really because I caught on. He just told me it's something. It's something you ain't catching. And he, and Bobby Mack is like that. Like he ain't gonna just tell you something. He gonna tell you something wrong or something happened or this, and he wants you to figure it out. He ain't, and if you say, I can't figure it out, then he'll tell it to you. But he'll be pissed off, you know, because you ain't, you ain't really do, do your best. You ain't put your mind to it. You know, it's the type of person he was. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. All right. Now, I'm going to start from here. So, it's so much to cover. Okay, I'm going to start from here. The first day, I actually walked in that child hall and went up to that dude and met him. I knew what what his flaws was. First of all, your number one flaw was, if you do anything to one of my people, I ain't about to let you walk that close up on me. Period. That's your first flaw. You trying to show too much confidence. You stunting, you are fronting. That tells me something right there. That means you still worry about what people thinking. You ain't got no self-awareness. So you can never make your truly best decision because you're going to second guess every decision you make because you're worried about everybody else around you. So you can never truly be who you was designed to be until you start thinking for you and the hell with how the world perceive you. You know, that's how I live. You know, if you're rocking with me, you're rocking with me. If you ain't, I ain't tripping on you. Keep moving. That's how I'm rolling. You know, I got more to offer the world than the world got to me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm living. You know, and everybody should feel like that. Don't never let nobody tell you how to feel. Feel the way you should. You want to. You know, so, okay. That told me that. Them two incidents told me that situation. And I noticed he's still bashful. He's still bashful. When I looked in his eye, his eye cut. His eye cut. You don't never break eye contact when a man looking you in your eye. Never. Never, especially in prison, never. So all these factors told me a lot. Now, okay, now I'm going to get into the video 
the episode because I seen a lot of people uh, was was there. John Manning, I forgot my boy. John Manning. There you go. I got, you know who I'm doing, man. He don't be tripping. That's my boy. That's my brother. So, all right. So, the thing, now, nothing in this video, basically, I was saying to New Jack, I meant. Not y'all niggas slipping. None of this. Because all that was planned. This, remember when I say, we going to walk the child crazy Steve, and I say, we ain't go behind them big dudes, run behind them, because I'm still talking to New Jack, what I got to talk to him about. We was discussing all this. You know, when we discussing it real low and cold, you know what I'm saying, and walking. So everything in this video is about what I'm doing. Even Roger get it. Everything about what I'm pointing at, we waiting on y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everything is about what I'm pointing at. And what I'm pointing at, this ain't. I had to put this in my playbook. This was smooth, you know. So we knew we had been being watched. I had to figure that out. I just couldn't figure out. How we have been watch, being watched. You know, you got dudes that got blankets up to their cell. You can't see in everybody's cell. You know, so I go back to my cell that night. Not that night, another night. But, and by the max say, you missing something. You missing something really big. So, I'm like, what is he talking about? So, my mind wandering all night. I can't figure it out. So I get up the next day, I'm looking around. Now this right, the day I got up, when we heard about little Jamin from medical, they found him in that closet, you know? So I'm looking around, I say, mother, he started moving his people in place on our line. They already on our line. They there. That's why I'm pointing. And that's why Roger was like, talking about, talking about crew. You know what I'm saying? Man, dude was smart. Dude was smart. Bro, I just... It's a shame, bro. If dude had a, did something else besides taking hits, you know what I'm saying? That's how he survived. You know, that's how he had to survive. Wasn't nothing personal with him. He used what he had to survive. You know what I'm saying? And when you put in a situation like that, you know, and poverty is the cause of it. Everybody look at the, what the actions that comes after growing up poor. You know what I'm saying? Growing up without having proper education. You know what I'm saying? You look at what come, what follows, you know? So people learn to adapt. So these ain't dumb people. These are very smart people that our military can't stand up with. Just point blank, only by overwhelming force. But if it was equal, they'd be slaughtered. Slaughtered. I'm telling you, these people are smart as hell. Man, I'm telling you, ain't no IQ around can hold it. I'm telling you. So... You know, I give my, I take my hat off to the dude. I take my hat off to him. You know what I'm saying? My greatest, greatest wall. You know, wasn't my only one. You know, shit. Anyway, but okay, yeah. So that, and there was one more, one other thing I want to talk about. I, I can't even think about it right now. I will catch you at the end of this, this episode. So now this gonna start different. Because it didn't start that morning that we was waking up. We didn't wake up how we normally woke up. This is this is how we woke up. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all gonna stay in your cells. Bag lunches today. We'll let you out the few. Boom, 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 boom. Man, we see troops marching. They marching. The outside assault team is here. And they heading the A block. Man, hey, we all in our cells, everybody making noise, it's loud, you know what I'm saying, it's through the roof, get them bitches, yeah, show what time it is, dudes, man, dudes get snatched off the line, they didn't, man, all kind of shit happen, dudes scared, dudes mad, dudes don't know what to expect, cause dudes go back there and, 
And oh boy, he was terrified. Zeno, he terrified. The other dudes terrified when they see what's going on. Now, now the name of this episode is Prison Pimping. And it's not what you think. It's a phrase we used to have from the 90s. You know, pretty much in the 90s, but it lasted. It still was happening in 2005. They, they really, you know, I don't know. Well, some prison somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Somebody in the dangerous, dangerous predicament, you know what I'm saying? I know that everybody don't go to bad prisons, you know what I'm saying? So some dudes just luck out, you know, it ain't, it ain't in the cards for you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't never say what another person go through. So, okay, anyway, so they marching back there or whatever. Few seconds later, they come rolling Fisher out. They like, what the hell? Bro, they told Fisher trying to take Fisher to medical. Once they, we, we still hear all the commotion going on back there. So, once they drop Fisher off up there, you see stretcher after stretcher after stretcher after stretcher after stretcher coming back. Man, we like, what the hell going on? You see other, uh, what you call it, coming in with uh, boxes of stuff. We don't know what the hell going on back there. Man, check this out. The last two days, that this, that, I don't even know how to say it. For the, before the special, them dudes wasn't even caging up at night. They were still walking around back there and we didn't even know it for two days. They, they were so scared to go back there. They ain't want dudes, they'll tell them to report back to their sales and they don't close, set, the sales close and them dudes ain't in their sales. They went back there thinking these dudes was sailed up. Man, hey, bro. So, okay. So, man, we hear it. We hear it. Now, here come all the dudes. The first two dudes they walk out of there with diapers on, Dalen and Darnell. They walk Dalen and Darnell out of there. I'm like, well, this ain't none of the niggas we was boxing with. Who back there? We still don't know. Who but all my enemies, you remember? It was Duncan, Dalen, Darnell. That was Duncan homeboys. They was, they come out there in diapers, they hadn't got them too. So, man, man, what, what they got back the grills? You know, nobody talking to us as they leaving or whatever. We trying to get answers, nobody won't say. Say, man, hey, see yo, what's going on? Hey, man, hey, outside of salt team, man, what's going on? Nobody won't answer us. They just like, we don't even exist. You know, so that's cool. Well, so this go on for the better part of the morning. It go on so long, the trustees come in and start handing us bag lunches. Bag chow, early morning chow, soup ass oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? So dudes in there eating this oatmeal. What's up, Gary? You probably wouldn't know here when I called you, but you, yeah, I got you, baby. So I'm my brother right there. So, okay. All this popping, all this going on around us, and you know, I don't, I don't, I can't eat when stuff like that. My my energy be too through the roof. You know what I'm saying? I'm too alert. So now you see them come with big nasty white castle and about five more dudes on a stretcher back to back. They turning their head down on dudes to see them. They turning their heads and stuff, man. Dudes laughing. Ah, get them out of here. Get them out of here. You know, they laughing. Now, all these people about to get shipped out this prison. They about to get shipped out. They ain't coming back. They ain't no more. Once you leave from back here, you gone. They shipping you somewhere else. They done rolled. They done, they done, they done damaged you. You over. You will never be another problem to society again. So, yeah. So, this still going on. They bring a couple dudes beat up out of there. And they still punching them down. You know, got them cuffed up or whatever. Man, bro, I'm talking about monsters, bro. I'm talking about monsters, bro. I'm going to tell y'all about the walk by, back there. Because we go walk back there after last child. We go, because they, they, they go on lockdown. They lock them down for 48 they locked them down for 48. So, so, but we, so we go back there when they're on lockdown. 
You know, I won't I won't give a chance to see everybody. Everybody that's there. You know, so uh <laughs> I'm gonna do that through the walkthrough. But let me tell you about prison pimping. This is what this is. And it was widely practiced. I don't give a damn. You gotta listen, we need to make some more money for our town. You got a overcrowding problem. You got an uh, inmate problem. He a hardhead inmate. Send him to us. We'll take him. We'll take him. Send him on to us. This is what prison pimping is. You pimp, pimp in other prisons to solve their crisis. So they got oh, they can't even house all these people. You know, they don't want to look bad in their town that they can't do what they said they could do for your town. So they outside contracting. Now, this is all around the world. This is all around the world. Boy, you better not come in and tell me it ain't happening. It's all around the world. All around the world. Sourcing. It's all around the world. So when, when you got, so what they did was every time the, an inmate cut up somewhere in another prison and they know this prison got this contract out, send them straight there. They don't even try to see it nobody else do. Send them straight there. So we getting the worst of the worst. The ones that nobody want, like Trump said. Uh, these other prisons don't send us their best. <laughs> they send us their worst. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, man, it's crazy. It's like, they, they are, bro, man, I ain't, bro, the walk, bro, I'm just going to tell you this. I ain't going to put it, I ain't going to put it on here. Man, nigga tried to hit me with, I'm talking about, he ain't try to hit me with the, the, the piss cup. This nigga tried to take shit straight out of his ass and hit me. You know what I'm saying? This hot. Some of them dudes back there just strolled off. They don't know no better. They ain't got no understanding. You ain't about to hold no conversation. Man, this, it literally is a zoo. It literally, it was a zoo. But that ain't the crazy part about it. They know it is too, and they hiding it. And what they do to us, man, is just straight up down dirty wrong. It's just down dirty wrong. So let's, they, let's say... We watch out. Oh, when everything said and done, they get that situation wrapped up. Everybody like, hey, what down are you at? Man, we missing this. They didn't do roll call this morning. So they don't know Donahue missing. So dudes trying to tell them we got an inmate missing. They ain't even listening. We like, man, this man, they snatched this man. The man said, it's right by where you turn in to go. You know it's four lines. A, B, C, and D. That's called A block. You know what I'm saying? His cell is where you turn to go back there. So all dude got to do is pop your head around the corner and see you stand in front of your cell. Pop, pop, pop. Pew. You back there. Ain't nobody come back there and see how far they took you. You on your own, baby. And you just that little dude up for laughing at you. Because your family ain't come to the visit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they snatched his ass back there. Dudes couldn't even believe that they, they took him. What you, what you mean they took him? Dudes panicking, man. You know, got a couple dudes ain't got no fear. Like a dude who I'm going to talk about today. Uh, okay, so we got a lot to cover. So we're going to go up to the point, and this right before noon child, that they let us Everybody else out to see her. Everybody except A block. A, B, C, and D. Because it's filled now. It ain't just A and, and B. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of the little turned out dudes on C and D. No, it ain't like that no more. The moment you step back there on D, you better have your baddies on. You better have them on. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, it's, 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 just, it's just ignorance. Just straight dumb. So, okay. So, they come pop us out here and they say, you know, uh, they still going to put us, we still going to be on bag lunches. You know, ain't nobody going to a chow hall. So everybody like, damn, yeah, man, everything ain't good. Now y'all got that. Why we ain't going to chow hall? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever. So, you know, we know something up. Everybody knows something up. So me, uh, you know, I, we already had got ourselves together. We've been in the cell all morning. You know what I'm saying? So. So I just, we all just hit out of cell, the fellas, you know what I'm saying? They come, you know, I had been got the fellas transferred from back there. Ben got them from back there. You know what I'm saying? So, 
So we are me and the fellas start coming over. We we go sit down. Now we sitting down. We watching this thing. Sam, what? What's up? Oh, Stan, what the do, Stan? They, the dude Stan come in. He go talk to Don Ray homeboys. They over there chopping it up. Man, all you see is about 14 dudes just run on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Zeno hitting them in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, man, they, bro. Man, they put them through. Man. Bro. Wipe them all out. Gone. No more. No more. That's the first thing that happened that day. I mean, they stayed down there and they made sure these dudes was finished. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one less thing we have to worry about. Because, remember the day? I say this was the craziest walk we ever had back to, to, to J-Line. We kept getting turned around. We stayed gone for hours. So we not paying attention to this dude moving his soldiers in place. Moving his soldiers in place on us. You know? And, and they started giving themselves away. It was telltale signs. And I get I, I get to that after I show the war. <laughs> because that's why I say, I took a page out, do book. Dude was smart. I put that in my playbook. You know what I'm saying? I, I ran this in my playbook. That was smart, man. Like, why I keep going? Why I keep knickknacking? Oh, uh, you get one of mine, I get one of yours. I'm get them all at once. You know what I'm saying? Smart. You know what I'm saying? So, but I caught it. Move different. So, everything in that video. It wasn't about what I was saying, all that me hollering that new jack, me y'all slipping all that and this and that. They, I, they ain't showing up. No. If you notice, the morning, Duck, I mean, uh, uh, Nathaniel W did what he did. I did this, indicating to the fellas, don't do it. So, I'm watching now. The two bro, the two dudes, Raymond and Abdul. I call him Red Man. And they hit that dude with the fire extinguisher. Now this dude all the way by the child hall. You, you can just turn and you he out. There's no way I can holler to you. Hey, you ain't about to hear me. You ain't about to hear me. That told me one thing. I said, let me see who can catch that. They got dudes lined up all along there too. Cause somebody whistled. Whistle and told him he got him. That let me know what's going on. That put it together. That put everything together. It, it started making everything come. Oh, that's the plan. Mm-hmm. Fellas, leave me by myself every morning. Every morning. Yeah. So, I knew there's something about dude. Dude, you'd have been great. You just need to grow. You just need to grow. You ain't give yourself time enough to grow, bro. You're too young. All you had to do is grow, bro. You'd have been a force to reckon with, bro. You just too young, bro. You hadn't got that self awareness to know who you was. You know what I'm saying? So you was a smart dude, but you just hadn't got that awareness. You know. So, bro. So okay, that that happened, man. So now, now let me tell y'all about this. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm telling y'all this part because this live is gonna be kind of different. Just letting y'all know. Because I'm telling y'all things that happen. But I right, so and I'm gonna tell y'all this how it was told to me. So all of a sudden I see Roderick come running. Now, it's right when he gonna have to leave right back. So I know something wrong, because we about to do roll call. You know what I'm saying? And plus. I know they ain't even got all, man, these, this is how, them dudes still on the floor when Roger coming. This is how shit going insane. So he comes, run, man, man, hey, bro, hey, hey. I'm like, man, what happened? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's up? You know, we thinking, they done tried to make a move. 
Hey, bro, your bitch ain't ball off air, bro. I'm sitting on the toilet, you know what I'm saying? Taking my morning shit. Dude, come at me, man. Roger, dude, come in, Roger, said why he, why he shitting and try to jug him. So he say he fighting dude, his pants is below his waist, he falling out on the floor, you know what I'm saying, his ass still shitty. He trying to fight dude with the weapon, you know what I'm saying. This was just the most funniest shit, bro. We all laughed in this morning. Then, right then, oh, sh COs come see what's going on. Runs the back out because it was Crawford. And Spencer, see, see, and run back out. I tell Roger, man, get loose, get loose, get loose. He telling me, I say, get loose. I make him leave. I go back to my cell. All the fellas go to their cell. So they come back. Guess what? They they come back with Melvin. Guess what they do? They don't ask no questions, no nothing. They don't ask not one question. Now. You know who did this? Who the hell did this? Oh, that shit over with. That shit over with. You done put us in prison with the worst of the worst now. And, and, and it's all so y'all can get a big cutback, kickback. It's all so y'all can get that. Each one of y'all CEOs, and but y'all ain't about risking yourself. You won't bring them here, but you, you want everything to be easy. You won't make that easy money. So, okay. They scooped them dudes right on up, rolled them out. I ain't got no complaints with that, but I'm knowing this is just a precursor. This is just about the what's, it's just telling me where we, where we at now. We on our own again. We on our own. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it, but the thing about it is we weren't just on our own. They got to be in dirty. Like, they'll pop your cell open at night and snatch your ass out of there. You know what I'm saying? When they're in full force. Take your ass to them showers over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I told y'all, I've been in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know. Now, now, okay. So, they come in, do roll call, whatever, real quick. They leave out. They don't even come back in with the trustees, handing out the bag of lunches. And you know, it's always supposed to be a CO when that's happening. Dudes getting extra bag lunches and everything. Dude, some dudes ain't getting none. You know what I'm saying? So, so this 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 happened or whatever. So I tell the fellas, man, let's go walk and up there. And we go walk. You know, we all we we still paying attention. Cause he don't know I didn't spot where he where he at, what line he on. He don't know I know where he at. He you he don't come off his line like that. He 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 a smart dude. He a smart dude. He come off his line surrounded with dudes blocking him in. Smart. Boy, smart. That's what I'm telling you. Boy, smart. So, so, and you'll never pay attention because dude walk with crews all day. So you ain't trying to mug everybody a crew and then, oh, you got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Dudes know this in prison. You, you in prison. You rock like this. So you know these different things. So it's all these guidelines you operate by. You know what I'm saying? So you use these to help you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, all right. So, check this out. So, we go walk up to the front. We want to walk. First, we only really going to walk to the, the, the child hall, right? So, wait, we get to the hall, and we like, by medical, guess what these people doing? They building a brick wall to, on both sides to put a door up there. They blocking us out. They block. Boy, they got plastic already up there. They started working on that ASAP. They got plastic up there on each side. They got the brick. They got the mortar mixing. They got, man, they about to get it in. They about to block us from even coming anywhere where staff at. If they don't want to see us, they ain't got to see us. This is what, this is what happened. This is what happened. So, you're like, but well, y'all, I knew it was something. I knew why, I knew it was a reason why we had to do bad lunches. And y'all got the problem. Wasn't really nothing popping. Y'all got the problem. It was them dudes. 
They was really doing the shit. They, they took that little dude, took Donahue, knocked the little dude out of the fire thing, all that. No, what them them dudes did, man, they somehow they got the, the fire thing from back there. I don't know how they did it. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is locked down. And it's big and heavy as hell. That's how you, that's how strong you know them dudes is. You know what I'm saying? They ain't have to push it up, but a little bit to knock little one clean out. You know, so yeah. Now, all right. Now we gonna go up to about about two ish. So everybody's sitting chilling. Me and the fellas talking. We still absorbing everything. His homeboys. His homeboys. Now, now remember they they on forty uh forty lockdown. He got boys back there too. But he got boys on eight. They told you they prison pimping. They sourcing. So they grabbing dudes from all over everywhere. Anywhere, send them here. We don't give a damn. If you're in another state, send them here. We sourcing. So, okay. <laughs> so, everybody chilling. We watching. We watching everybody. You know, the fellas sitting there talking. Man, G.A., bro. Man, you know the chick that used to stay. Her name was Waikiki, bro. She stayed over there. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 they don't even know. We spotting them. We just spotting every last one of them. We know everywhere they at. You know what I'm saying? So, we pay attention. Here come the shit. Now, remember the dude, Bird, who told us about Big Nasty and White Castle? So, the dude, Rabbit, him and the dude, Rabbit, Rabbit say, so listen, listen, bro. They talking at first. Then like, so yeah, now keep, a, keep an eye on both hands. You follow them with your eyes as far as you can. You know, never take, Pow! He just smacked the fuck out the man. I'm like, damn, dude, dude, like, hey, bro, you just hit me. He shut the boy, shut your goddamn mouth. Before I cut your damn tongue out your mouth, dude. Boy, who you think you talking to? Let's get it, man. This dude, rabbit. I'm talking about no talk. Pop, pop. It, you, it's almost like one of them video games. Dude, going gloomy mode. He walk into him. Boom, boom. Drop him. Hey, go get that thing out there for me. I'm serious, no lie. Huh. Cut bird tongue out his mouth. Cut his tongue out his mouth. I'm telling you. Now, Rabbit is his homeboy too. That's his homeboy. Yeah, that's Munchy homeboy. Yeah. Yeah, from they all of them from Maryland, Louisiana. They all from Maryland, Louisiana. All of them, you know. So I kind of put it together. How many dudes he got in this facility? How many dudes that did they got? So, but I also know something else at work here. See, it's about overwhelming force. You know what I'm saying? It's about troop, 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 troop. That's what it's about. So somebody else, who haven't we been seeing this whole time? All this going on, who haven't I talked about? Anybody? Skinny. Oh, they've been ducked off, but they don't know we've been watching them. See. By y'all being ducked off, y'all isolated. See, Skinny know me. Skinny know I'm a smart dude. So he know any signs he lead on, I'm going to catch him. He was in the other prison with me. He see how, how I rock. You know what I'm saying? So he know what it takes to get me. So he planned on coming out. He planned on coming out. Overwhelming force. They going to come drilling. Drilling. They going to get y'all. Yeah. So, so. We done seen KJ and Lamb with the fight. We seen everybody but them. But they don't know. They been being watching because remember, all the lines over there, like Ellen, what, they was on lockdown still. And that way, Nate, Nathaniel B was going over there. I mean, what the fuck am I Crazy Steve was going over there. And he was sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying? They locked, they can't get to him. They, they locked and they, they, they he lay on the floor. 
and they talk all night. So this is how it confirmed everything that I, I thought. Because Crazy T said, yeah, he has your guts. <laughs> Responsibility to save you. That's a choice I could have made, but that's not my responsibility. I don't have to save anybody. All I gotta do is make it out of here. I got my own family. You know what I'm saying? Go risk my life for some dudes that be back with the bullshit tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? This is what made me kind of harden. Prison will harden you. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta remember not to lose yourself. You have to know if some things I need to get stricter on. But don't lose you. Don't lose you. Don't lose who you are as a person. So that's what I didn't do. All right. So now we gonna go up. We gonna go. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Let me think about it. All right. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we gonna go up a light. Maybe another hour. Another hour. Because we're getting to last child. We'll go up another hour. We're just going to skip that. We'll go up another hour. Okay. So, I, we, everybody out chilling still. All you here now, you know, whatever happened, it happened. They didn't got him uh, at this time. And he gone too. They ain't asked no question about that either. And that was some nasty shit. You know what I'm saying? Dude was missing the tongue. Dude flushed it down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? I'm real talk. You know, so... You know, I just don't even want to remember that right now. Oh, uh, so, yeah. So, I, I remember the funny things this day. All right, so, we here two dudes. Man, yeah, bro. You, man, yeah, man. Man, you can have it, bro. Man. Bro, you have it, bro. No, man, you have it, bro. Man, I'm telling you, you have it, bro. Can y'all guess who this is? Paul and Nagadish. Man, these niggas over there buddy, buddy, like best friends. Man. Everybody like, when you look at this shit, these dudes that fought so much and that and that's fighting will do that. Make you grow a respect for each other. It will. I knew they was gonna be best friends. I knew it. I knew it. You couldn't do all that fighting without becoming friends. Man, these dudes are inseparable. They really stopped hanging with their other crews to hang with each other. That's how crazy it was. You know, it was a sad situation with that too. But uh you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they they end up getting real tight. You know what I'm saying? They they sharing cookies and stuff. Last cookie. No, man, go ahead, man. You got it, bro. Come on, man. You my boy. <laughs> yeah, she crazy, bro. So, yeah. So, you know, all these things are at play. Now, everything is kind of peaceful. Everything is kind of peaceful because they on lockdown back there. Now, whatever dude is waiting to make his move, we still putting this plan together and thinking this thing out because we know it's other things at play. So, so everything, Angela Gold 3, I appreciate it. Appreciate the cash out. So, a lot of things uh, at play going on, but it's peaceful. We enjoy this 48... You know what I'm saying? Besides those couple things happening, you know, which one of the situations, it is, that's just a situation that had to happen with Diamond Ray homeboys. That just had to, you know? So, <laughs> see, I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'm going to tell y'all, like, you know, when, when, like, they got the law saying, you gonna, if you get five years, you're going to have to do five years, that, let me tell you how this adding to the problem. Because you only taking the smartest or the smartest mostly from the hood, from the places. What kind of person can start poor and build a Fortune 500 drug company? How many people you know can do that? How many start poor and make more money than the government selling their own shit? How many people you know can do that? Right under their own nose. It takes a pretty smart person to do that. These are the guys you locking away forever. See, these guys, you see, oh, I got all this violence going. You know, he 
hurting this man because this man tried to hurt that woman and her child. You don't know what's going on inside the hood. You only seeing it from where you at. You don't know what that pervert was trying to do. You don't know this ain't a war over no money. It ain't a war over money. It's a war over. Man, you know you weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of him. Green light. He got to go. You know, and, 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 and things shouldn't be like that. But in, in, a, in a hood, just like in this prison right now, if the guards don't help you, if nobody don't help you, you got to help yourself. You got to help yourself. Or you just going to wait there till they get rid of you, right? Till they, to you next. You know what I'm saying? But people only think in a box that this is the way things should be. Zandra, Zandra, Shreen, I appreciate the cash out. Uh, you know, think in the box. This is the way things should be. This is the law. This is this. This is this. Well, everybody don't even go by the law. Not even the lawmakers. You know, everybody wants a way around it. You know what I'm saying? So they put loopholes in it so they can get through it because they know where they at. You know, but they just get mad when you figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So it's a crazy thing, and I ain't here to debate none of that. Sir T, I appreciate the cash out. I ain't even here to debate none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving a different perspective and a different side growing up in these environments and seeing, you know what I'm saying, Michael McCall. Michael McCall, biggest drug dealer we knew in, in, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Come through, bop, 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 every little kid on the block. Ice cream truck, stop. Buy the ice cream truck out for the kids. Let, a, let one of these dudes go and cuss a mama out. Let him go cuss one of them, or put his hands on a child or do something he ain't supposed to do. Who the law is in the hood? Michael McCall. He going to fix the situation. And all the police going to see is another body. But don't know. We call y'all. We can't do nothing until you do something. We can't do nothing until you do something. He ain't did nothing. Well, we know the nigga going to do something. We know him. He did something to somebody else. We can't go off of that. It's not about what you know, it's about what you prove. Yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get it, man. So, yeah, so it's it's like this, man. Like, and I'm, bro, like, on this mission I'm on, bro, like I said, it's, it's bigger than money. It's bigger than anything. I lost something that I can never get back that I can never get back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm watching, they still try to put this in the American people eye to make them think this is the best thing for them when it's only gonna make, what happened when they took Larry Hoover, all the gang leaders, what happened? It, shit got worse. You took the structure. You ain't doing nothing smart. Sometimes it's a necessary evil, you know? And y'all know it. Because when your troops go marching on other people's soil, you know it. You know? And, and, and I'm all for my country. You know? Whatever behind me. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about that. It's about, it's about something else. And I'm not even going to even get into that. But anyway. Get up to last child. We get up to last child. We, uh, they, they do it real quick. I mean, da, 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 faster than they ever did it before. Gone. The trustee's gonna be in the back. I ain't eating that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let go. Me and the fellas get together. We head back to A block. We turn right on side of Donnie Hughes sale. And we walk back there. So, now, uh, Keith Cameron, look at my brother. Look at my brother, Keith Smith Cameron. So, uh, so we walking back there. As soon as we get back there, man, we smell the stinkiest. Oh my God. Man, we walking on water. It's funny. It got shit on the floor. Man. These dudes done flooded cells. They done flooded cells. Man, bro. We see dudes that then look, you know, Oh, all right, I'm gonna go line for line. I, I had it. When, when we get on D, it's a dude having sex with another dude 
in this cell right there. You know what I'm saying? We like, all right, that's, that's consensual. <laughs> you know, it probably wasn't when it started, but it is now. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they like America up in there. You know what I'm saying? They getting loose. They, they going to make this 48 hour lockdown work for them. You know what I'm saying? So we keep trucking. So we moving. Man, dude's like, oh, this old black ass orangutan looking up. Where they come from? Man, on D, the, 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 the inmates that's on D, the majority of them, man, and, 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 and I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm just saying, I didn't know. I don't even think they come from this country. I don't even think they come from this country. You know, you hear them talking some shit, and they black and I don't even know what the hell going on at this point. We we all like this. We got to close our mouth. This stink ass smell back here. It's crazy. You know, and for them dudes to be trapped back there for all that time, man, I, I ain't going to much lie. Man, I still got sympathy for y'all, bro. That, bro, so the, we, and, and that's what I'll tell you, I wasn't going to say about the dude. So, we come around on C. And dude run up to the boss. He just run up to the boss and start shaking on him. Just, ah, ah, just screaming. So I pull that blade out. Bring your little ass home, boy. Huh? I come over and poke your ass. Huh? I'm just playing with him. I ain't going to poke him. He in a cell. He can't defend himself. I ain't going to do nothing like that. But I'm telling him. Come on. Keep on. Come on, crazy man. Man, this man sit there and you can see he, his face just get tough. And take this shit and just throw it. Man, we all move here. Man, G, man, I'm about to hurt this boy. Man, man, come on, man. Let's just keep moving, bro. The crazy, the, the farther we walk, the crazier shit getting. So we get, so now we didn't see what cell Ramon and Abdul in. We don't even pay no, we, we act like we don't even see him. We keep walking. So when we see him, keep walking. Man, bro, bro. I thought Cal, Remo, Beast, Yanni, I thought them was the biggest boys I was going to ever see in my life. Well, I could see at least four boys that they ain't got shit on. I could see at least four boys they ain't got shit on at all. Hands look like they Just wrap your body up. Yeah. Like these dogs, I appreciate uh, the cash out. Now, at this point, I'm telling the fellas, hey, man, hey, bro. I really won't get the hell from back here, dog. I don't want all these dudes familiar with my face like that. You know, I done walked and it seen so much in just this little short time. Because I'm telling you, it's two dudes. Boom, 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 boom. They sell mates like this. And he's just in the middle of the floor, just fighting in the cell. Ain't trying to stop, ain't trying to dodge, ain't trying to do nothing. They just ain't talking, ain't making no noise, just fighting. Just, just retarded. Just gone. Man, we like, bro, what did these people do? What, what, what have these people done? And we found out they prison pimping. They sourcing. Dude, he, 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 he shanked somebody in your prison, send them to us. Oh. Uh, he punch a guard, send him to us. He's just too big for you to handle. Send him to us. That seemed like what the hell happened. And they knew that. Because we couldn't understand. We thinking it was Dana and Darnell and them back there. You know, just the, the guy. But we noticed we hadn't been seeing them. Notice I hadn't even been talking about them. AG, hey, appreciate the cash out. It's a big one too. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, we thinking... Um, they, you know, that they back there running shit and they got everything they need back there. They good. We happy. We ain't got to see them or whatever. They done sold their homeboy. So, you know, when you go through eight, whenever you come in with, whenever you come in from catch and release, you got to walk through eight. Eight is the first line you hit. So when the inmates get dropped off there, we'll never see them. You get what I'm saying? 
We have to come through. Remember, we took the walk and they brought me to J. But I started on A. You know, and that's where the war net up there. But it got a whole boss that you got to go through to get back to the prison side. Boy, and straight. Now, faculty on the other side, like the medical and all that, you know, they come in through the back of the prisons. And that's where they work because they have to, you know, treat inmates or do work with the inmates or whatever. You know, Miss Miss Goldie, I appreciate the cash out. So, you know, but so we not knowing what's going on. So they taking down all our enemies at the same time. They beating these dudes to, to a, a, a pulp. You know what I'm saying? Back there and, and running in them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like so many dudes came back from back there with diapers on. You know when you got a diaper on, you ain't just get violated. You got, you got ravished. You got ravished. You know what I'm saying? Because it won't stop leaking. You know what I'm saying? So they put a diaper on you. And a paper gown. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm telling the fellas like, hey, man, listen. Bro, you right, bro. We don't need to let all these dudes see our face. And before you know it, they come looking for us. You know, because they remember us. Or oh, we be walking and they come back there and <clears throat> just pump one of us. Because we just look for me. Because you can tell most of them got problems. Like, these some, you know, say a tank had a mind but no sense. A big old tank, an army tank. A mind, but no sense. And you just let it go. That's just like what this is. Just let it go. It gonna run over everything in this pal. Cause you can't communicate with it. You know, so this is basically what they done done to us. And now they locking they self out up there. They building a, a sub divider. And they building it out of brick. And it's gonna be a door, like a double door there. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, I, I'm y'all. I'll get in that in the episode how they want us to start telling them about injured inmates, and they gonna tell us too. They gonna tell us in so many words that they don't really care that much. Anyway, so okay, now, so we leave Ilya and we come back now. Remember I said, Steve, you got to let us know, you know, you're popping up, you know what I'm saying, different things like that. So, now, at this time, they didn't got used to Steve being over there. Even though they out of, even though they out of their cells now, they still don't say nothing to Steve. They still don't. They think he hiding out from knife. You know what I'm saying? They didn't heard this as much, you know. And plus, you know, Skinny, Skinny wouldn't think nothing if, they see Skinny, I mean, uh, Steve with me because he know how I am. Oh, that's, that's G, man. He ain't with New Jack. G like that. He be taking the puppies in. And that's how That's how he'll, he'll see that. He wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, even associate that because I've always been like that. If you a dude can't take care of yourself, you don't have to join us. If you ain't doing nothing messed up in this prison, you just won't hang around for protection. I don't care about that. Man, we up. You're good like Jamie. Jamie was a good boy ever since I've been knowing him. You know, kind of took his shirt in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, the, the man took his shirt in and every pair of pants he wear. You know what I'm saying? That kind of dude. He was a good boy. You know what I'm saying? And he reminded me of the innocence I lost. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was that was tough for me. And then we so busy worried about what Long Arm Tucker and Crawford doing. Took my eye off of him, you know. You know, but like I said, so okay, we come on from back there. So now, Crazy Steve is just not coming up. He he didn't overslept, but he yeah. Uh, but so anyway, so today is the day I have to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I I held it for as long as I could. You know, Bobby Mac had psychoanalyzed him and got the facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's official. So now I need to go talk to him. So I said, hey, Steve, man, come walk with me. So me and Steve walk right at the entrance of Jake. And I'm like, hey, bro, I know why they call you crazy, Steve. I told you what. Nope. When you came to jail, your first, 
your first cellmate rapes you. And I said that word. Yeah. He rapes you. And he kept doing it. But you ain't conform. You went crazy. You lost your mind. And you really lost it for a minute till you had dudes scared of you. Because you really was gone. So, man, he he tried to, he tried, no, 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 no. Tears just got to flow. I'm like, it's all right, bro. Like, bro, I'm not going to stop dealing with you, bro. I'll treat you no different. This is not what you asked for, man. Some predator tried to do this to you, bro. You was a young boy that they put in a no-win situation. You know, they ain't monitoring that kind of stuff. You think they saying, okay, yeah, we're going to put you in jail with him. He like to fuck boys. So we're going to put you over here. Well, get your ass in that cell. You know, so he told me the truth. He just bawling. The fella sitting there, oh, man, bro. See, Matt, Matt got con connections, you know, and this going to be a... I'm about to get y'all, because there's one more situation after here. I'm going to give you guys, you know what I'm saying? Because this is where I start this episode at. So, I'm talking to Steve, and now the, the tears won't stop flowing. You know, and I'm telling him, hey, bro, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. I promise you. like, man, hey, bro, bro yo, I know you have a brain. I don't be, yo, yo, I ain't got to see nobody. Y'all don't think I'm a queen. <laughs> He go, I was like, man, bro, you my brother. That's it. It's no more about that. I been knew this. I told him, I said, I been knew this when you told me that lie. I been knew it. I just held it. I held it from the fellas. I held it from everybody. I was figuring out, I don't just do stuff. I think about things for a while before I do it. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't even really, um... Uh, you know, I just tried to make him feel better. The fella started patting him on his back. They all started hugging him or whatever and stuff like that. Letting him know he our brother. Ever since this day, man, can't nobody get close to me. Ain't. Get close to me if you want to. Get close to me if you want to. Steve gonna let you have it. He gonna let you. He got very overprotective. Very overprotective. It's almost like this is what he needed. He needed somebody to tell him it's okay. And some, most of the guys in prison, that's all they need. You see them dudes break down like big old babies. Most of them who be around here, yeah, man. I ain't talking about the predators. I'm talking about just dudes who be around here trying to act like they got so much confidence and, and they big, swollen, strong, and they bad. They hurt anybody. Give them niggas a hug and they'll break down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, yeah. So after that situation or whatever, J, J Noah, what's up, man? Appreciate the cash out. So, all right, so that, that simmered down with the fellas. Now, all this is going to be important for the episode that I'm telling you guys. Because I'm going to tell y'all some more stuff even after I tell you the last part. <clears throat> tell you some other stuff. Uh, so, okay. So we're going to go all the way to lockdown. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to lockdown. We own lockdown. So, I'm in, I'm in my, uh, what's it called? Now, I'm, I don't know what, it just come over me. I, I just lost Jamie, uh, Nathaniel B, man, I can't believe that situation. I'm just, it's just like emotions. I don't know where they even come from. It, it just started happening. You know what I'm saying? So, B Mac, like, what's wrong? I'm like, man, I gotta find who did that to uh, Nathaniel B, bro. You know what I'm saying? He like, you about to be mad at me. So I, I'm looking at him like, be mad. I know you ain't do this. He's like, nah, no, 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 son. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. No, no, no. I want you to understand something. I want you to listen to me. You're going to be mad at me because of what I didn't tell you. So he says, the old guy who, the, the youngster who was getting out, that Nathaniel B blew up. He says, that's who done it. I knew it when he done it. He cleared it with me when he done it. I knew it was going to be done, but I knew you was going to try to intervene. 
And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm about to, oh, it's old. He's like, listen to me. And I'm going to appeal to you. Listen to me. You see the way I'm fond about you? He was fond about that little guy. That was his star pupil. And he was taken from him by this guy. And when he said that, that's what made me come to my senses. Him and Bobby Mack been knowing each other. Been, been. They did a lot of time together. A lot of time together. You know, so, man, that was tough, but I understood what he meant. You know, you just took something from him. He took a liking into this little guy. The little guy was respectful. The little guy, he could teach the little guy things. The little guy wanted to learn. You know, what person don't want that? You know what I'm saying? Somebody who won't learn from them. You know, so, so, uh, that's, bro, I, but I knew it was an old school, but I just couldn't put the ticket on that old school because he didn't seem like that type. And that's why I say, man, don't judge a book by its cover. Man, I, I, when he was down there, help coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just didn't look like, but he was in shock because this was like his child. Somebody just did this too, you know? And that's why I say at first I was just rooting for the thing to be a blow them all up. Get them. I want to see body parts flying everywhere. Get them. But you blowing up people who ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? You just throwing them and running. You know? So that kind of thing. But you can never say how you feel about somebody. See, let me tell you something. When you in prison... You might not even associate with a dude, but every morning, this one dude walk by himself. What's up, G? You know what I'm saying? You talk to him a little bit, they gone about, about much of nothing. You grow a fondness, you know what I'm saying? It's like a big old house. Y'all all in, you know what I'm saying? And the ones you can't stand, you can't stand. And the ones that don't bother nobody, you like. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't know I liked him that much. You gonna know when you see it and it hits you and them feelings start erupting. You gonna know the whole crew liked it. You know, like I said, they started dapping up. Yeah, man, I'm going back to my. I'm like, man, yo, serious? Like, yeah, but when I got in that cell by myself, by my reading that Bible, got them glasses on, reading that Bible, he ain't talking. Man, I went through some emotions. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's just crazy. You know, you just seen this little dude running around. You know what I'm saying? Just big old ass smile on his face. Till now he strung up. Same way with Jamie. Just not doing me a favor. Getting me in to go see Mel or whatever. You know. And now, it's just crazy, bro. One minute they there, next minute. You can't never get used to nothing. You can't never have nothing. You can't never get used to nothing. You know, that's the, that's the, that's, and, and, and then as soon as you end up building up a tight friendship, all right, line up. If you hear your name or your number, you're going to this facility. You're going, you don't never know. You don't never know. You can. You ain't got to do nothing. You be, they just want to ship you because now they about to start shipping dudes because they about to turn the prison into something else they want to turn it into. This is what they do. They free balling shit. Everybody figure the prisons got a plan. They making this shit up as they go. It's what they doing. And, and, and if you ain't been there in the inside, don't believe what you hearing on the news and what you hear that you got in the inside. And I don't, even, I ain't gonna stress that. Don't worry about hearing about it on the inside. Like I said, you hearing it? They make this shit up as they go. The biggest priority is self-preservation. Make that money. Keep them beds filled. I'm gonna make it home, my family. I get that, but everybody ain't coming here to hurt somebody. I, I'm in here for a crime. You think I won't be in here doing crime? Or you just want me stand there like an asshole while a dude come, like, so let Nathaniel W. choke me because he want my weapon. Do y'all know if that dude would have got that weapon, there wouldn't have been nothing nobody in this prison could have done with him. Nobody. A big dude like him with a weapon like that? That's why I said, yeah! Yeah. 
And I, that's that's straight. That's straight self defense. Strictly. Strictly. I didn't go looking for nothing. You know. And matter of fact, bro, let me tell y'all something. First of all, the police cannot uh, investigate a prison. It has to be taken up by the attorney general, given to the DOJ. And before all this, the prisons I talked about are closed down. This is the only prison that's still running. And it's, they didn't cleaned it up, but you know, it's still there. But uh, like I said, uh, they, they don't even care. They don't care. You think they care what, what they do to each other back there? They don't care. You go walk up to them. Hey, man, you know I had the good of five, six dudes back there. Okay, we're going to come pick your ass up, send you back, and let you go do, do a couple more. Then we're going to let you out again. You know, and you can move on side of this nice young lady. You know what I'm saying? This is what, the kind of ignorance that's happening. And people people not understanding, man, what's going on. To, to keep that free labor going on. To keep that free labor you know, that pre pretty much slavery going on, you know what I'm saying? You just throwing dudes away for maximum amount, amounts of time, you know what I'm saying? For nothing, oh, you got caught with two ounces of crack? 35 years. <laughs> That's insane. 35 years for some crack cocaine, some shit y'all make everything. Y'all used to make everything in y'all pharmaceutical company. This shit is crazy. And then turn back around and sell it to the public. You know, it, it's crazy. It's, it's just insane. You know, man, it's, it's just the, it's just when you a free thinker, that's the, that's the one, per, that's the one kind of person that the world hates. A free thinker because he's not programmed. He can't think like programmed people. He, he can think in ways. See, when you free your mind, it's, Nothing nobody can tell you or well you you know you're gonna listen because you just you're gonna search for every bit of education or anything, you know. But I advise I advise everybody to go on a, a journey to get self-awareness. If you ain't fully got it, and I'm not talking to everybody, because some of you guys might have it, you know. Uh, just talking to the ones that ha that have it. And, and, and like I said, it's not for everybody. The ones when I start this class, if they, I'm going to be really giving y'all some real secrets, some things that was given to me that really help improve the quality of life, finances, everything. That BMAC, man, BMAC, BMAC, BMAC probably a million now in prison. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know, you, you. How many times you heard me say B-Mac gone child? B-Mac don't eat no goddamn prison food. All this shit is exported in. Imported in, I mean. <laughs> Man, bro, bro, this is not the random be an old guy. I, I'm, he got the little old guy mannerisms. Like I say, I play all these parts because I'm a very smart dude. And when I'm zoned in on somebody, I'm watching everything they do. So... I'm, you know, it's just, it sticks like that, you know, but these was, this is, it's, it's nothing. Anybody can do that. You just have to, Bobby Mac told me this, two people get in a fight, y'all both got equal odds. Both of y'all got weapons. You know who gonna win that fight? The person who loves life the most. That's who gonna win the fight. Yeah. See, you got some dudes that take life for granted every day. So, you know, they ain't got much motivation by life to fight. You know, you punch them, they probably stay down, get up when they want to. Dude gonna hop right back up. <laughs> I ain't what, I ain't. And never be scared of fear. That's healthy. That keeps you on your toes. That's important. Fear is a good thing. Fear is a good thing. Everybody, every last one of them dudes, I don't care wh whether it was Duncan or White Castle, Nathaniel W. or Big Nasty, Buck Nasty, they all had fear when they walked in them, when they first walked in them bars for the first time. 
It's the fear of unknown. I don't know what's going to happen to me in here. You know, so that's a good thing. Don't, man, that's a good thing. You know, yeah, so it, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like this thing, we, we, we trapped in a, 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 a cycle, man. It's, it's a cycle, and, and I was seeing it, you know, dude just got out. He just got out. He ain't been out but a month. And they come, uh, Patricia, oh, what's up, Pat Watson? Appreciate the donation. Appreciate the cash out. Uh, he comes right back in here. Now, listen, this is not the Paris prison. So, he was in there first again, then they shipped him right back here. So it's a design. It's showing me this, and I'm watching, and I see dudes do it all the time. All the time. All the time. Like, damn, bro, you done been out three times, too. I ain't been out yet. You know? And, bro, it just has to change. Just somebody has to put themselves on the line and say, I'm going to make it my mission to do that, to go in these neighborhoods and let these kids see and know the real, the real ugliness of it firsthand. Show them proof, you know, that this, this thing is not what you think it is. You think you're going to go out there and catch a body for your partner and you're going to go to jail and you're going to be the realest in now and dude's going to have real respect for you or your own boys will turn you out in there when you get in there. Understand that, youngin. Your home, that's what they're gonna call you too, little youngin. That's what they gonna come here, youngin. Yeah, let me slang this on you in your back, youngin. That's how why you thinking that's what it is and that's what it's about. Man, you ain't gonna get no stripes. Dudes on the outside gonna stop talking about you as soon as you hit in there. You ain't gonna hey man, send me a little show. Man, my girl said y'all never did bring their money. Yeah, man, we gonna go take it to her. Yeah, yeah, bro, but I gotta go, I gotta go. And that's the last call you're going to get, my dude. They just wanted to see if you would call and tell them about a fight you had. <laughs> that's it. If you ain't calling them and tell them something they won't hear, they don't even want to talk to you. Man, don't, bro. I done seen so many dudes in there mad at his, his, his crew on the outside in the streets. Or mad at his gang. You know what I'm saying? You done went caught an L. And... You in here now. Now the dude that married your girl. Your homeboy, your right hand man that married your girl. And neither one of them taking your phone call. <laughs> what you gonna do? Break out and go get him? Come on. Boy, you talking about burning you on no pain and something like that happened. The hell with the Knicks. The hell with all this violence going on. Just a simple detachment from love. Human affection and touching. That's going to, that'll break the roughest. That'll break the toughest. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so it's just crazy. It's just so crazy that all the things I have seen, I can't even begin to tell y'all all the things. Y'all, let me know when y'all, can y'all hear me? That was somebody called me. Can y'all hear me? All right, cool, cool, cool. So, man, that just threw me off, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, bro, it's just it's just so much. It's just so much, man. Like, I can't tell y'all everything. Cause we only like, we only like a month and something in. All this happened a month and something in. This was all this went on a month and something in. And and bro, it's like, man, it's like, bro, it's you, you then you 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 lose you lose a brother or you you lose a friend and you in that isolation that's all you could think about that's all you I'm trying to appeal to the youngins listen at me man you going to bond you going to get other bonds when you get in prison hopefully you know if you're smart but you know and don't go join no gang you know dudes who won't go around hurting people you know and when something happens to one of them or they get shipped, you're going to be hurt, man. You're going to be hurt. Because people got more control over your life than you do. They can take anything from your life when they get ready to. You know, you own nothing. Not even the stuff you paid for. You don't even own it. Because when they won't take it from you, they can take it from you. 
You know, so, yeah. And if they say you ain't pissing all day, you better not piss. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. So, all that, oh, man, I call him, I'm breaking on this person. Like I said, dude told me, man, three seconds in, I'm diving on the queen that coming. Three seconds in, you're going to be fucked. Boy, this is overwhelming force. You ain't dudes how about, man, I'm going to out myself. Yeah, after you get fucked. Because how you going to get up off that bed with them holding you down? Come on, man. Let's be smart. I'm not saying I was some super God that survived. What I'm saying, God seen favor in me because he knew my heart that I ain't really healed. To, this is not what I'm getting off on like these guys. It's almost like being an angel around a bunch of demons. You know, and, and, and nothing you say can appeal different to them. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. You know, man, listen, dude say, I, I remember, I remember like one of the first fights I seen. Dude say, man, hey, bro, I'm going to, he about to say, I'm going to fight you, bro. Dude just broke his jaw. That's what happens when you're talking and dudes won't fight. You know, your jaw is coming to unravel. Yeah. That's why they say keep that yapping. That's where the term yapping comes from because you're going to be yapping when they finish. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. I can't begin to tell you all the stuff I got inside my head. You know what I'm saying? And I try to move along the guidelines of YouTube. You know, I don't want to do nothing that departs us. You get what I'm saying? That, that, that takes us away from each other for a while. But you guys, if that ever was to happen, look up New Jack. Because that will be what I go back in on. Because some things, and I don't know how it's going to take to the channel, you know, what I'm getting ready to do. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to, you know, see ways to tell you guys a lot without saying a lot. So in, in order for me to do that is to teach you how I was being taught. Make you see things that you would normally see. And, I, and, and, it, and it's been happening. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you even picked it up. You know what I'm saying? I'll put something somewhere, like like Courtney Carter said, and he caught a lot of things. I love bread. I've been leaving breadcrumbs in these episodes, every single episode, from I think about five episodes ago, of what's headed and what's going on. Every episode. And if anybody would go back through, you will understand what's going on completely. Cause I, I gave it to you. I ain't try to hold nothing back to make it suspenseful. I'm gonna give it to you plain, just how it happened. I'm trying to paint the picture, just where my mind frame was at the time, just where the fellas was, the COs was, everybody. I ain't taking nothing away, I ain't adding nothing. I'm trying to do it exactly right. And if I'm paraphrasing, I'm gonna tell you I'm paraphrasing. You know, if I'm, uh, uh what that's called? Uh, just say, you know what I'm saying, allegedly. If I don't know it for a fact, I'll say allegedly. But if I don't say that, then these are these people's words. My mind remember these things. You know, I, man, listen. Me, Roderick, Bobby Mack, we drank coffee early, er, Bobby Mack, uh, now, hit that phone, call me. When he called me, I called Roger in Oregon. We drank coffee together and talked every morning. Every morning. You know, so it's, it's like, and he doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know, he, he Roger, he, uh, he just do his own little thing, you know. That's my brother, though. You know what I'm saying? That's like, he Roderick, New Jack, whatever you want to call him. That's no other, no other thing has it. It's my brother. You know, we, when he first came from Gill City, it wasn't like that. You know, once we met there, and I think that was God's plan, because I wouldn't have just accepted that dude 
coming to this prison, being in this prison. I wouldn't have accepted him. You know, I wouldn't have understood him. You know, so I seen him, you know, and to prepare me for that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh Vernetta Collins. What's up? What's up, fam? Oh uh, yeah, uh so man, I'm I'm telling you, like, I'm literally trying to give you guys as much that I as I could, you know, without um and somebody told me now I know some people can say uh raw things on their page and don't have no problem because they have an explicit page. Me, I have a kid friendly page. You know what I'm saying? Because my page started off to reach youth. And, and you know, that's what it was basically about. To more of them as possible to hear these stories. To make them stop doing this thing that, that they doing. You know, not thinking. See, that's all it is. They don't go through the thinking process. They just think of one side. Yeah, my home is going, I'm going to be a savage in the hood. You heard me? I know. I was, I was him. I was him. I was him. I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I got three, four, five bodies. Now, I, that, that, that wasn't me, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that's the way they think because this is all you're around. That's why people tell you you have to move from where you grew up at to even accomplish anything in life. Because, right, because these same dudes gonna do the same thing, and after a while, you're gonna fall back in with it. Just say you quit smoking cigarettes. You no longer want to smoke cigarettes. And you've been doing that for a while. But you was, just say, working out short. But you come home. And you go out with the fellas. And all they doing is smoking all night. What are you going to do? Man, let me hit that cigarette. It just happens like that. It happens like that. You know, so. Yeah, Taj, there you go. Yeah, there go my brother Taj. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just. It's just a, a crazy thing, you know, and I just want to pass on some of the wisdom that God blessed me to get, you know what I'm saying, from a very incredible guy, you know what I'm saying, and man, I haven't met a guy like him yet, you know what I'm saying, like with, man, and I, I want to give y'all so much shit, man, man, bro, man, this guy was just, he was, he was one of a kind, he was, well, I ain't gonna say what well, he is, one of a kind, and you know he's getting older, you know, you, you know, but he ain't still ain't missing no steps, you know. But he'll never come home. He'll never. He'll be in there for the rest of his life, you know. So, uh, yeah. But you know, that's 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 the thing. I want y'all to understand. Like when I bring y'all these stories, I'm bringing them the. The, the best I can with with this. Now, when we get to doing the, the, the topics page, that's explicit. I can go all in. I can say whatever I want, however I want. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what me and Laco gonna be telling stories together, you know, and different things like that. And different other brothers gonna be telling stories together, you know. So, and I don't want, I don't want a lot of you guys, you don't have to subscribe to the page, just know where it's at and know how to get there. You know, because when I say, uh, we go, we move it to the top of this page, y'all. Move with me. You know what I'm saying? Because we probably do it live and be going straight to the top of the page for tonight. You know what I'm saying? That night, doing, that's how we about to start rocking. That's why I'm getting my work ethic back up. You know what I'm saying? Like I told them, I ain't coming back to the community center. I'm already building my own. You doing what? Yeah, I'm I, I, for for a couple months now. I've been building my own community center. I ain't coming back. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 done. That's done. You only get one chance to to cross me like that. That's it. I I wasn't in the wrong. I stood on it. I stand on it now. I wasn't in the wrong. I had a choice. I had a choice, and that would approve to run away from them guys right there. Telling you, I ain't seen these guys. They ain't nothing different from the streets from in prison. They play the same kind of games. That's why I show y'all every scenario. So y'all can see how these people are coming to you. You be talking to them. You would normally think that's a normal conversation. But you don't know he going somewhere with this shit. It's all to trap you. This, this is all like, like 
like Tiger, like, okay, uh, just off the fly. What, what else? Uh, bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Yeah. These two dudes, like I said, I was locked up in Calahula with them. You know what I'm saying? They just ain't no good. Tiger and Damian Young, they ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing this same kind of trickery and beating dudes up, you know, using for a punching bag, pretty much. You know, testing their strength out. You know what I'm saying? Just, just love to see them, how they can knock a dude out. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Bam. Oh, I got him that time. I got the last one, man. It's up to you, boy. I mean, they even be betting each other money. Which one gonna knock the dude out first? Because they not gonna stop. Once they start beating you, they not gonna stop until you go to sleep or they hurt you bad or even roll you out possibly. You know, this is what they doing this for. You know, and they testing their strength having fun. This is an activity. Bottoms up. Do literally, do literally say, these two dudes, hey man, every time we knock a dude out, if he fall with his bottom up, you just got to find the biggest dude up in him. Bust on him. Yeah. We got to walk. If I point to him, you got to bust on him. That's bottoms up. So everybody is trying to knock out. They trying to knock him out on their back so they don't have to do that. This is bets and sh that they got. You know, this is how dirty these dudes is to think of this kind of... You, you understand how insane that is? You know, this... this bro... The type of shit I started hearing, man, man, a lot of dudes ain't recovered. They mind. I seen a lot of dudes just shut down. Like, brains just shut down. Dudes just stop talking. Anything. They had to get them out of there. They had to get them out of there and ship them out to a, 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 a facility, like a mental facility. Yeah. Yeah. I seen a lot of different things. You know, it, it's, it's just crazy. It's just, you know, and like I said, I'm going to try to Give y'all as much as this before I'm through with everything. I'm going to try to give you as much as I could. You know, what you do with that information is up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm self-aware. I'm confident who I am. I know who I am. I know what I want out of life. I know what I'm doing. That's all that matters to me. You know, it's not to, it's not to convince anyone of anything, take anything from anyone, anything like that. It's only to share things that I went through and hope this never happened to you guys. That's it. And that's it. And on that note, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Look for the episode. It's coming.